Welcome back. When you put on an extra layer to do your chores, it's important to consider the same for your calves. That's because they can become cold stressed around 42 degrees. I got some tips to make sure they thrive. We have what's a thermal neutral zone where we're comfortable. Humans have it, cattle have it, young calves have a thermal neutral zone that's a very short window of about 44 degrees to about 72. And that means anything outside of that range, they start using extra energy. Keeping energy up is key. Farmers should start by controlling the calves environment. Making sure they have deep dry bedding and that they can kind of nestle down or hunker down as I say, and where they can burrow in and insulate their bodies. So when we see that calf nestling down, we don't want to see her visible legs. Calves use energy to maintain their body growth and a strong immune system. When it gets colder, we can start putting on calf jackets. We want to make sure that they're dry underneath and they're not getting too hot and sweaty. Because if they're sweaty underneath, their hair coat is wet and that can chill them. So sometimes we have to put them on during the night, but take them off during the day. They are a great tool the first three weeks of a calf's life. Because at that time, their rumen is not developed and they're not consuming a lot of starter. And when we think about the rumen, that's a great body heater. When it comes to airflow, avoid creating a draft while still getting fresh air to the babies. But we want ventilation, which means bringing fresh air into an area and we want about four exchanges of air an hour. In addition to maintaining energy through a good environment, farmers can also boost calves nutrition. So do we feed additional bottles or volumes of milk throughout the day, either at each feeding or an extra feeding during the day? Uh, we can also increase, if we're using milk powder, we can increase the amount of powder in each feeding by making sure we don't have the solids too high because that could disrupt their stomachs, causing scours. We can also do fat supplementation as well, adding some sort of supplement to increase the energy. And especially those newborn calves, sooner we can get them consuming starter or grain and develop that rumen, the faster that they can start producing their own heat to keep warm as well. 